I was making a little, um, just a embellishment gift, I guess is what you would call it, for someone. And what I did was that I made that in, um, I guess in conjunction with this project here, which I'm sharing today. And I will explain what it is as I uh, show it to you. So um, it is a mini album and I wanted to show you what I used for the cover which is this stamp here from uh, the Santora Gorgeous collection. It's called Bluebird's Proposal and it looks like that and I think I just thought she was so, such a pretty image and then I also used a couple of these from um, the same company and I can't get the package to look the way it did but I used a few of these also, and they're sliding out, but um, this one is called um, Frames, and I guess that's a good name for it because all of the little girls there are inside of their own little picture frames, and I didn't use them all, but I used, I think, four of them. Um, so I'll describe the cover here of this mini album. I used the Tonic uh, Memory Bookmaker dies to make this particular album and what I did here was because she's sitting on the little wooden log there um, first what I did was that I made a digital paper uh, just for the cover and I stamped this little image on top of that paper so that's why there's I'm sorry some script here so that was done purposely and then there are some leaves that were already on, on the paper there so I stamped her and colored her in and her little uh, bird and with that paper line I also went ahead and made some embellishments for this cover. One of them was this little birdhouse because I love birdhouses and I went ahead and put um, uh, acetate behind it so if you see the light shimmer there it gives it just a little more sturdiness and then I added some little dragonflies there, that one and that one. I added the pink pearls and I also went ahead and embellished with this little um, sprig here of uh, leaves and little butterflies that I went ahead and layered with silver paper. The background where uh, um, this tag here has some... Um, I went ahead and glossied it up and added some snow texture type glitter and then I added the little flowers that I embellished with and then paper. the little girl what I did with her was that I gave her little butterfly wings because that was a theme that I wanted to use throughout and what I also did was that I created a pocket here and if you pull this tag out there's actually I did a little stamping of the same little bird there but there's a sentiment written on the back of this tag that's for the uh, the recipient and it's actually I didn't personalize it on the front so it's a Bible verse I like to include those in things that I make this is all on top of a layered cover there that has silver behind that brown paper which I chose to emulate the uh, the the wood that she's sitting on there kind of like you know forest type theme so it opens with this um, gray ribbon here um, actually I'll show you the spine first and the spine I went ahead and made it with silver embossed paper I embossed it myself and then I added this antique lace on top I added this little doily and then I threaded the ribbon through the doily and added the little heart charm um, or embellishment there and then on the back what I did was I added my information on top but um, I layered the pink a light pink silver and even lighter pink and then I embossed the same doily onto that paper and went ahead and inked it so that it would stand out so there's five layers on the outside of the back and then five layers on the outside of the front so it's quite sturdy and um, just to let you know it does have chipboard so it's a it's a nice sturdy um, cover it opens like so and what I did on page one here was that I created a little shaker and if you see here it's actually magnetic 
so it sticks to that front page but I went ahead and made it using Tea Time and Dolls doily dreams paper that's line. why I added the little doilies as little embellishments there um, I was really inspired to go ahead and make this and I added the little butterflies in inside of the shaker with sequins as well as there's a little silver one in there there it is and the other two are wooden and I added this um, this really old seam binding and the the blue which I think went really well with the the colors and then I colored in this or I painted this butterfly I'm sorry I placed it on top of a pink doily and added just a little sequin there on page one here what I did was um, I alternated the pages uh, making pocket uh, pockets on every other page by using uh, a layering die that I have and so I made little tags to go inside which all have a little you know ribbon or something on them because this is going to be gifted to someone who will receive these and that one I embellished with a ribbon and pearl and on the back is where I use the stamps the gorgeous stamps so here's one and I colored all of these with Prismacolor pencils and then um, I added some little glimmer there as I like to do to my images. I kept them all in pastel colors so they would match the collection. And that way they would all look very delicate. So that's page one. And then I kept everything else very, very simple because that way the person can use this book. She can use this book as she wishes with the tags once she removes the, uh, the ribbons. So she can, you know, choose to keep them in there. If I were her, I would take them all off and then just keep using the book. <laughs> so this is the next um, page. The third page is the same with a little tag, only this one has an antique button and pink seam binding a different girl there and she's got blue glimmery hair and the next page is simple the following page also has a pocket and this one has the um, the same gray ribbon that I used throughout and it's got this little girl here hopefully you can see that each one of them is a little bit different, but they're all so lovely. I really like these the, the stamps. And then, of course, I like the paper line, so it just lent itself to create something very feminine and soft. Here I added um, a little clip that I made, and I had this in my stash. I forgot I had made these, but I had these enameled hearts, and I went ahead and uh, made a little bow and added that in the center, so I added that there. And then this bow... Uh, is also made with seam binding with an antique blue button on top there and the same little girl on the cover is on this particular tag and then I just gifted some um, seam binding that's lacy and, and blue on that pocket and that is my book hopefully um, the person who receives this will enjoy this um, I really had a lot of fun creating it I kind of was on a roll so <laughs> um, I'm actually surprised at how quickly it came together because um, I, w I wanted to finish it as soon as possible hopefully you guys enjoy have enjoyed this project um, this goes along with the other um, video that I had shared with you that um, had the altered butterflies and this bag that I put together so if you haven't seen that one I'll go ahead and link that below and hopefully you have been inspired and you can be blessed. Thank you for watching and thank you for all the subscribers. Please like and share if you like. Bye bye.